Hi class, welcome back to another one of my verbling lessons. This hour we are going to be going over past tense modals and uh, I had I had thought that I added I had added the link to the class but I did not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be grabbing that while talking to you guys at the same time. Um, so that I can get this all loaded up for you. Now, uh, I usually do um, do a one gl grammar class a a uh, a day, okay? Uh, or I do a a, a tense or, or some some uh, some sort of grammar lesson uh, throughout the day, and I may repeat it a couple times. Uh, but this is my grammar lesson for today, and we are going to be going over past tense modals. Um, and usually. Usually I have the uh, the link set up for you already, but I'm going to go ahead and, and grab that because I have I I uh, did not get it in there already. So as I'm doing that, I'll be waiting for students to to join into the class. If you're wondering what's going on at the first couple minutes of class, it's uh, because those uh, two minutes are reserved for premium account holders as well as those who have gotten reservations now reservations can be can be made uh, uh, or can be uh, achieved by different ways inviting people in through Facebook and, and things like that to uh, bring more awareness about about verbling to uh, to your friends and family and those and other people who want to learn English all right now let's see. Here we go. Now, for those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Teacher Chad. I am from the United States, but I currently live in Costa Rica. And let's see who we got coming in. Let's see who we got. All right, got Alessandro. We've got Jada. I saw in here. Maria, Igor. Awesome. A lot of new people. Okay, very cool. And uh, Alan, how are you tonight? Alan, can you hear me okay? All right, not so much. How about you, Alessandro? Welcome back. How you doing, man? I'm fine. Nice to see you again. I'm Good doing to well. See you. Good to see you again as well. And uh, I apologize, class. When I uh, set up this class, there we go. When I set up this class, I thought I had included the link. I just uh, I just put the link in uh, in the Verbling chat box. I'm going to put it in the Google chat chat box as well, so we can all follow along. All right, very good. Yeah, I looked at uh, I looked at my lesson. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where is my Where's my where's my lesson for today? So, all right, very cool. So we got we have Alessandro. We also have uh, is this uh, Adoni? Yeah. Adoni. Andoni. Andoni. And Andoni, how are you? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Mexico, and I'm very good. <laughs> awesome. What part of Mexico are you from, Andoni? Uh, I'm from Re uh, Reynosa. It's on the border between Mexico and Texas. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. And uh, what do you do? Are you a uh, student or? Yes, yes, I am a student. Okay, very good. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to class. We also have Dina. Dina, how are you? Fine, thank you. And how are you? I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. And, and Dina, where are you from? I'm from Egypt. Oh, great! You were able to uh, to make it on. I received a note earlier that uh, that students from uh, from Egypt may may have trouble getting on to Verbling classes uh, because uh, Egypt had uh, uh, passed a law banning banning YouTube or something like that. Did you hear about that? No, but uh, I think it. Um 
it's not, it's not, it's not the AM. Yeah, obviously it's not. There was a problem, not, yes, so. there, there was a problem uh, with YouTube, but uh, I think it's, uh, uh, the procedures concerning this subject is, has been stopped. Okay. All right. Very cool. Well, good. I'm. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that you were able to make it to class. Now, Dina, what do you do? Are you a student, or are you uh, working full time? No, I was working full time. I was working as an office manager mm -hmm. uh, for a travel agency, but now uh, I'm not working. I'm not working for two months. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, are you looking for a new job, or are you just? Uh, um, hanging out and waiting to see what comes around. No, uh, now I'm going to have a new baby, so... Oh, really? I, uh, really? Yes. Great, congratulations. So, uh, thank you. So I will uh, I will continue my work, uh, I think after six months or seven. It depends. I will see. Okay. All right. Well, good. Good. Uh, wonderful. And uh, please let us all know how it... Uh, how everything turns out, and you know what? Uh, if you find out what uh, you're gonna have, um, if it's a boy, I'm just saying Chad is a great name. No, I'm just messing. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, boy. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to class. All right, let's see. Thank let's you. see who else we got here. We have uh, Facundo. How are you, Facundo? Hi, Chad. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And uh, Facundo, I don't, uh, I don't recognize your picture here. Where, where are you from? I'm from Ar Argentina. From Argentina. And what, uh, what part of Argentina are you from? From the capital, uh, Buenos Aires. From Buenos Aires. And uh, what part of Buenos Aires do you live in? In the downtown. Uh, what, uh, what neighborhood? Its name um, Microcentro. Microcentro? Yes. That's new. I uh, is that a new neighborhood or has that been there for a while? No, it is um actually the name is Congreso. Ah, I lived in Congreso. Oh yeah? Yeah, I did. I lived uh let's see, when I was in Congreso, uh let's see. We were probably um I think we were let's see, Congreso. Uh, we were close uh, to is uh, Parque Patricio. There, they're close by. No, it's not close by no. Parque Patricio. It's, la, it's in the square of the Congress. Yeah. So you are that uh, there in Congress. So you're looking. You you can uh, look down on uh, Plaza de Mayo, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was I was there. I was there. Well, how old are you, Facundo? I'm 20, 25, but then living, I, I have living here since one year ago. Okay, yeah, so um, uh, do you remember when the economy in Argentina collapsed? Yes, exactly, 20, yeah. uh, 2001. Yep, uh, in, uh, in December. So I was, I was living in Congreso at, uh, at that time, and uh, um, that Wednesday, I remember it was a Wednesday because the only time when I was living in uh, Argentina when I got sick, and it was a Wednesday, I got sick, and I didn't go out to uh, Plaza de Mayo, and uh, it was the only day, and that's when everything hit the fan, and it got crazy. So I was, uh, I was lucky, man, really lucky. I would have, I would have gotten destroyed. It would have been terrible. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Well, anyway, welcome, uh, welcome to class. Are you a are you a student or do you work full time? I'm studying and I'm working too. Okay. Uh, what are you studying? I'm studying economy. Great, great. And uh, and where do you work? I work in a in a, in a lawyer firm. Okay, in a in a law firm. Law firm, exactly. Excellent, excellent. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's go ahead and we'll go to uh, let's go to Gabriel. Yes, how hello. are you? Yes, hey, I'm really fine. So. Excellent. I remember you. You're from uh, Peru, from what I remember. Yes, from I am from Peru. Lima. Yes. Excellent. How you doing today? I'm really well. I'm really well. Today was a perfect day for me. Really? What? Why was it so perfect for you? Well, because I met some friends, friends that I haven't seen them for years, so it was really nice. Great, man. Yeah, my my day was pretty good as well. We uh, um, uh, we went to uh, church in the morning and then uh, and then got some food and went to a park and hung out and uh, did a lot of a lot of a lot of fun stuff. I love taking my kids to the park. It's always yeah. It's I always forgot fun. something. I received a dog as a gift also. Oh, say that one more time. I received a dog 
as a as a gift. Really? What kind of dog did you get? It's a Dalmatian. Really awesome, man. Um, yeah. And uh, did you name it already? If not, Chad is yes, a great name, name as well. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. All right. Cool, man. Welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Okay. Thank you, Chad. All right, man. Uh, let's go to Igor. How you doing, Igor? Yeah. Hi. I am doing well. How about you? I'm doing great. Now, what time is it there in Moldova? Seven o'clock. Seven, seven o'clock. Okay. Now, I, I remember that now. You're getting ready for your, your day now here. Okay, cool. I always, for, I always forget that. We're, we're uh, eight hours. Uh, yeah, we're eight hours apart. Cool. So uh, so uh, tell me, uh, how are things going for you? How was, uh, how was your weekend? Did you do anything? No, nothing. Especially I learned English here on Verbling and nothing special. Okay. All, all the same. All right. And uh, um, did you learn... Well, tell me what you learned here on Verbling, then. Uh, Nick, tell me one thing new that you learned this this uh, weekend that you did not know before. Can you remember? Uh, that English... Um, um, in English, uh, I don't know. Uh, for me, particularly many details I learned. Uh, so if I will start to say what I learned, it will take uh, much time. <laughs> I can I can say one example. For example, okay, uh, I'm doing uh, good. Uh, I uh, someone said that it's not correct to say, but uh, someone said that it's correct to say, I'm doing good. Uh, did the other person say I'm doing well? Uh, yes, I'm doing well. It's correct, but I'm doing good. It's uh, not grammatically correct, so it's uh, wrong that, to say. That and, is uh, absolutely correct, but. Everybody in the whole world says I'm doing good. Um, okay. So if you if you hear that, it, you'll you'll be just fine. There aren't very many people that know that that is uh, gra grammatically incorrect to say I'm doing good. Uh, yes, the correct way is to say I'm doing well. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. Let's uh, let's see. Well, welcome back to class, Igor. It's it's great Thank to have you, you here. Um, Maria, how you doing, Maria? Hi, I'm doing well. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Grammatically correct. Yeah. I attended some Spanish classes yesterday. Really? And, oh, uh, no, and it was the day before yesterday. The who first, did you take uh, with? Did you, were you with... Uh, no, I was just uh, listening. Oh, I was, oh, really? I was listening to the beginner class because I was curious whether she was going to speak in English first, but it was all in <laughs> Spanish. I didn't... All in yeah. Spanish, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I watched a little bit of one. Um, I, I don't... I think we have five teachers now. I've seen a little bit of Paulino's class, uh, mm -hmm. and... and his is really cool. I, it looks like he's standing up, which always is is really fun. Um, mm -hmm. And then um, I forget the uh, the other woman's Damaris. name. Damaris. Damaris. Yeah, yeah. There you go. The lady. Yeah, and but, yeah. I don't oh. know if this is beginning beginner class. It's not for me because <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't know any Spanish at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I was thinking about teaching Spanish, but I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I will just yet. But uh, with, there's another guy here, Gabriel. Gabriel mm -hmm. in class. Are you? Let's see. Yes, uh, Gabriel I'm here. In class. Are you? Uh, are you teaching? You said that you're teaching Spanish. Yes, I teach Spanish. Not really? in Berlin, but I oh. teach Spanish. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, but not at not at Verbling. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember that you told me that uh, you, you teach Spanish. Very yes, cool. Yes, I teach Spanish for the Spanish Institute here in my country. Awesome. So, and you that that would mean you're teaching like uh, the grammatical rules and how to write and and how yes, to improve your Spanish. Yes, I teach beginner, okay. intermediate, advanced, all kind of levels. Wow. Okay. Cool, man. But Chad, perhaps you yes. can have classes in Spanish where you kind of explain in English. It would be for <laughs> for beginners. Uh, yeah, uh, I could, I could, I could definitely teach a beginning Spanish class. See, because right now, um, obviously, I'm not a, a native Spanish speaker, um, but I know a lot of the rules, and I can work on pronunciation uh, to some degree. Um, Gabriel, uh, for example, he he can do the whole gamut, just like I can, I can do the whole gamut of you know beginner up to advanced in in English and uh, I, 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 I wouldn't say I couldn't handle it, it advanced I don't know I don't know we'll see we'll see what we'll see what okay. happens <laughs> yeah. okay. but uh, okay cool so uh, so you went and you saw a, uh, a Spanish class and uh, did you do anything else that was uh, that was interesting 
Uh, I was working on some writing I had to do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Very cool. How, how did that turn out for you? Well? Yeah, it turned out good. Well, yeah. Okay. Good. I'm good. improving. Awesome. All right. Well, welcome back to class, Maria. Thank uh, you. Let's go to, is this uh, Samir? Yes. Hello. Hi. How are you, how you doing? I'm fine. What about you? Excellent. I'm doing really well. Now, uh, this this uh, picture of the Joker, this was one of my favorite Batmans. I, I thought uh, uh, Keith Leather, Ledger did an amazing job in this Batman. Do you like the Batman movies? Uh, yes, yes. I like this uh, Joker face. Yeah, this, this yeah. Uh, that, that Joker was awesome. And uh, so, uh, Samir, where, where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, okay. Yes. And what do you do? I'm studying uh, at university now, right now. Okay. Uh, I'm studying accounting. Oh, accounting! Awesome. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. And how many uh, how many years do you have left? Uh, how many years? What? Uh, how many years do you have left until you finish your degree? No, I don't finish. I'm studying now. Uh, yes. At university. Okay, and uh, and how long ago did you start studying for okay, uh, your accounting? Three years, three years. Okay, three years. Okay, so you may yes. have uh, one or two two more years. Uh, depending. I have one year to finish. Okay, great, great. Well, welcome, welcome to class, Samir. It's great to have you here. Yes, yes, me too. Awesome. And Jada, how are you, Jada? Hi, teacher. I'm great. And you? I'm doing really good. How was how was your weekend? Uh, was great. Today is my day off. Um, actually, it was a relaxing day. Great. Yeah. And from what I remember, you work for a, a, a magazine. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I remember yeah. that. And uh, um, and from what I remember, you're you're living in Mexico. And do you work on the um, uh, the graphic? Do you work on the graphics on the uh, of the magazine, or is it the editing side? I can't recall. No, I'm a um, manager assistant. Okay. Um, Coordinating with my um, editor friendship. Okay, cool. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, welcome, welcome back to class, yeah, Jala, and. Thank uh, you. Uh, Alessandro, I kind of uh, skipped over you a little bit. I welcomed you into class, but I was uh, kind of preoccupied with getting my other uh, my uh, uh, my link in because I didn't have that set. So I wanted to I wanted to say hi to you, and uh, and make sure everything was okay. I know you're going to be hopefully fixing your car this next week, uh, but do you have any other plans for this next week? Uh, thank you, Chad. No, actually, I don't have uh, I don't have any other plans. Uh, as usual, uh, without my car, fix it. I just wait uh, any of my friends calling me at the night to hang out. If no one yeah. calls me, I just sit there Stay and home. listen. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just say, actually, I have started a game, Call of Duty uh -huh. Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> yes. That's my of the Call of Duties. I love Modern Warfare 3. That was, I think. Um, I see. I don't play video games all that often. But when I do, I I play it until I beat it, and then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, till, till you're tired. <laughs> yeah, and so I I think I played it for probably like two or three days uh, straight, not staying up all night, but when I had time, that's all I was doing, and then I beat the game, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Very fun. Yeah, Call of Duty is great, man. What yeah, version yeah. do you prefer, Call of Duty, uh, uh, Black Ops 2, or uh, Modern Warfare 3? Uh, Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. I, yeah. I played Modern Warfare and Black Ops. Actually, I played Black Ops 1 two. and 2. I played, I, played, I played both. I played also World at War. I played... Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Modern Warfare 3 and uh, Black Ops, uh, both editions, and World at War. I... Uh, I love the game, actually, man. Awesome, yeah. It's 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 a fun game, man. It, yeah. it, it really kind of sucks you into it, and uh, but really the, that whenever a new one comes out, that's when I play. Um, but other than that, I don't have the like the need or the desire to go and do that uh, on a daily basis. But 
anyway awesome well uh, we've got some we've got some new people and uh, some familiar faces back in here I'm I'm, uh, I'm happy to see uh, to see everyone here tonight um, now this is this is going to be a grammar lesson um, and we are going to be talking about <clears throat> past uh, let's see yeah past tense models I kind of got to make sure I'm thinking about the same thing all right <laughs> Sorry, my uh, I in between my last class and this class, I caught up on uh, on a, a TV show called The Walking Dead. Do you guys watch The Walking Dead at all? Yes. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. I just watched the tonight's episode. I was able to to download it, and I I'm it's like they're in the middle of whether or not they're going to go to war, and they finally decided that they're going to go to war. And so I'm like, oh, what's going to happen? So. <laughs> So yeah, my mind is a little preoccupied on that. All right, well let's uh, let's get into this. Um, I put the uh, the document over in the uh, the right hand side over on the Verbling chat. So go ahead and open that up. When you open it up, this is what you're going to see. Uh, you'll see the table of contents first, and we're going to scroll past this. Okay, and we're going to go to the uh, quick and handy grammar review. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and and read about what. Uh, what past tense modals are, okay? I'll read through some examples and then we'll get into some practices, okay? Uh, so let's uh, let's start over on the the right side tonight. Let's start with Jada. Uh, Jada, can I have you please read where it says "quick and handy grammar review"? Sure. Quick and handy grammar review. Past tense model. The model for. Hold on, because I can see the screen. The modal form takes on a special significance in the past tense. The categories of necessary, necessi necessary ability, possibility, probability, certainty, repeat action, and advisability all use auxiliaries to express their meaning. Permission is not used in the past because there are no past tense requests. Great. Uh, Samir, let me have you read number one. It would be that paragraph and the four examples. Uh, well. uh, necessity in the past are uh, two plus base fair where the difference in meaning among the various models of uh, necessity in the present tense must have to have got to had better should really this appear in the, uh, the past only one uh, form in is used had to the reason for this is that is that it is uh, certain that you perform the activity whether you want it to or not when you say I had to clean the basement you certainly did did it notice the use of the pace where following had to John had to cook dinner for the family yes Yasmin had to watch her baby brother last evening Muhammad had to take his car to the mechanic Barbara had to buy a beer of uh, kicking boats for the hick great all right let's go to our next reader, it's going to be Maria. Let me have you read all of number two, please. Uh, yes, number two. Ability in the past. Uh, we use... Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what's happening with the page. We use model of, models of past tense uh, ability on two occasions to indicate the age uh, when we had the ability to do something. I could swim when I was six. To talk about a skill when we had we had in the past that perhaps we no longer have. When I was 16, I could run six miles without stopping, but now I can't run more than two. Was able to is also synon synonymous with succeeded in and is used for specific occasions. I was able to get a good discount on the coffee machine because my sister-in-law works at the binary on Main Street. We use the base verb following could and was able to when 
In hmm, <laughs> was nine. She could paint beautiful pictures. Victor could read when he was four. Gertrude was able to get two tickets for the concert. Carla was able to get a job at the news store on Main Street. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go to number three. And let's see. Juan, you're up. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, man? Very well, thanks. And number three, right? Yep. Yep. All you. Repeated action in the past. Used to, would, plus base verb. Used to and would, followed by the base verb, have the same meaning. An action that was I expected at a time in the past, but is no longer performed. In a narration, the speaker usually alternates between used and used to and would. It's a little blurry. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. When I was when I was eight, I used to ride my bike home from school with my friends. We would ride three miles in about twenty minutes. I used to stop and at my friend Jake's house on the way. His mother would bake cookies and cakes every afternoon. So I used to have a snack with them before I continued on my way home. Those cookies would taste so good. Great, great. All right, yeah, so just remember here, uh, used to and would, followed by the base verb, these, are, these have the same meaning. Okay, um, I can't think of a situation when one is uh, is more preferable than the other, um, but yeah, just remember they have the same meaning and you, and you can use it in the same fashion. Okay, uh, let's take a look at uh, number. Okay, number four continues on to the next page as well. So number four is is Igor. Uh, let me have you read all of number four, please. Uh, advis advisability in the past should have. Uh, plus past participle. Although advice given after the fact is not particularly useful, it uh, surely makes the advisor feel smart. If you had a choice between a fast food restaurant and a, a di dinner, uh, and you choose uh, the fast food place, but then you go got sick, you friend, uh, your friend can confidently advise you. You should have eaten in the dinner. All you can do is nod, nod, nod. Nod your head. Nod your head. You you know that your friend is right. However, this knowledge uh, does not change the situation. Note that should have is followed by the past participle, not the base verb. Lisa should have taken Spanish instead of German. About about should have gone to Montreal on vacation. Uh, Tyne should have shouldn't have gone to the Middle Woodland dinner. Uh, George should have finished his paper yesterday. Great, thank you. All right, and let's see. Let's check out number five and. We're on Gabriel. Let me have you read all of number five, and I'm going to have you go down to where it says summary chart. Okay, so five until it says summary chart. Go for it. Okay. Possibility, probability, certainty, certainty in past. May have, could have, might have, past participle for possibilities and probability, must have plus past participle for certainty. When something has happened and we are not sure of the reason or the result, we can use past tense models followed by the past participle to express possibility or probability. The function is similar to the use in the present tense. For example, in response to the questions, where did that go? We can answer, he may have gone to the library or he could have gone to the cafeteria or he might have gone to the bathroom. However, if one of the students saw Jack take uh, his bag and his coat and heard him complain of bad headache, 
he could say. He was sick. He must have gone home. Excellent. Okay, so you guys, you guys see that difference. So may have, could have, might have, uh, all pretty much have the uh, have the same guessing meaning. Okay, where you don't know exactly what has happened. Okay, and so you're kind of uh, it's sort of a, a stab in the dark. You're 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 guessing to what uh, what have happened. But if uh, if you see. Uh, like here in this in this example, if you see him do something, then you have a little bit more um, you have a little bit more information there, um, and you say, okay, he was sick. He must have gone home, okay, because you you're you're using more of a uh, a conclusion, and it's and it's for certainty there. Does that make sense, everybody? Uh, I had only one question, Chad. <clears throat> what is the yes. difference between possibility and probability? Possibility and probability, they're, they're the same. Okay. okay? It's possible that, uh, uh, that uh, I may go to sleep by 1 o'clock tonight. It's probable that I may go to sleep by 1 o'clock tonight. Uh, it, you can use them. They're, they're interchangeable. Okay. 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 Same. Sure. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's check out this, uh, this chart here. Uh, let's see where I go. Okay, so we just have a little bit, and then we'll get into. All right, so um, when we're going through our exercises here, make sure to come back to this chart. You can scroll back up, uh, back up here uh, to check and see if you're doing okay. All right. So remember our uh, our sections. We have ability, possibility, necessity. Okay, had to. Uh, advisability. Okay, that should. Right. Um, permission we do not use in the past. Probability, okay, uh, must have, and repeated, used to, would, impossibility, couldn't have. All right, so let's uh, let's let's scroll past exercise one. All right, and we're going to go to exercise two. All right, this is on page number five of this PDF sheet. All right. So let's uh, let's start off with where are we at. I think uh, Gabriel, you were the last one to read, right? Yes. Okay. So let's go to Facundo. Let me have you do numbers one and two, please. Okay. I went to an Italian rest restaurant. It was good, but I. I should gone to an Indian place. Okay. Let's see. We, we would need um, we would need another word in here. You could say should, uh, but you would need to have the word have. Should have gone. Okay. Okay. And so uh, let's uh, let's look for another another option here. Could be could go, or could is used when would pass. Yeah, so we're, we're looking for past. So the only ones with past in it is going to be gone. Okay, so uh, answer C and A. Okay, so we know that A is incorrect. So C is going to be our only answer that we could do. Okay. Okay, go ahead and read that sentence and, uh, and uh, answer it using uh, sen or, uh, selection C there, please. Okay. I went to an Italian restaurant. It was good, but I would rather have gone to an Indian place. Good, good. Okay, and number two, please. Thomas can't believe it. Thomas can't believe it. He broke both hands when he slipped on the ice. His boxing career is over. Now he walks around saying, I could have been a contender, a contender. I could be a contender. I should have fallen down. I could, I could have been a continent, or I could be a continent, in a continent. Okay. Remember when we're when we're talking about something that uh, uh, a possibility. Okay. Um, okay. We're we're gonna choose could. Okay. We always, when we're talking about something that uh, that may may have happened, we always want to have the word "have" there, "have" or "had." Okay. So our answer is going to be A here. I could have been a contender. Okay. 
Okay, so that's going to be our answer there. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Yep. Uh, let's go to numbers three and four. And uh, Dina, let me have you do those, please. Okay. Man's friend Toshiku was in the hospital. He didn't know, so he didn't visit her. Toshiku was very sad. Now Men says, I should have visited her. Yes, I should have visited her. Okay, we use should for advisability, right? Yes. Okay, so that you can you can advise yourself, right, as well. So that you're you're talking to yourself here and you're saying, I should have visited her. Okay, nice. Okay, how about number four, please? Okay. Yumi is a great swimmer. In fact, she when she was only four years old, she she could swim. Good. So D, right? She could swim. Yes. When she was only four years old. Excellent job. Thank you, Dina. Thank you. All right. Let's go to numbers five and six. Alessandro. With pleasure. So it's uh, okay. Josie couldn't go to the game because she had to study. Good. Had to study. Nice. And uh, number six, who was that? Who was that guy at the party last night? I don't know. It it might have been Pepita's new boyfriend. Good, good. It might have been Pepita's new boyfriend. Okay, very good. Okay. And let's go to. Let's go to seven and eight. Uh, back to Shada. Seven and eight. When please. Priscilla was when Priscilla was eleven years old, she used to live in Brazil. Uh, yes, used to live but in Brazil. Used to... Good. All right, and number eight, please. Yes, the chicken was this one. Rosa um, to eaten pizza last night. Okay. Um, if we have should and we have the past participle, past participle uh, is uh, is um, uh, you're going to need to have the word have there. Okay, so if we're going to use should, we would need should have eaten. Okay, so instead of should ha should should eaten, okay, we need another word that ha has the word have there. Which one would that be? Never see. Would rather have eaten. Yes, would rather have eaten. Would rather have eaten pizza last night. Okay, good. All right, and uh, let's see, numbers 9 and 10, please. Uh, Samir? Yeah. I had such a good time when I, uh, I lived in Miami. We, we would have gone to the beach every day. Let's see. I had such a good time. We okay. So here, when you when you use the the uh, word would, um, we wouldn't we wouldn't need we wouldn't need the uh, have here and have gone. So using past participle, um, uh, our best answer uh, would is absolutely correct. Okay. So, uh, because we're we're talking about something that we used to do, okay. So uh, let's uh, let's scroll up here. All right, and we're gonna we're talking about something that we uh, used to do. Where's my used to do chart at? Okay, so repeated action. So when we used to do something, you you could say used to. Or would plus the base verb. Okay, so we don't we don't conjugate that at all. 
All right. And so all we would need to do is use that word and that and that base verb. So our answer is going to be a here. So instead of saying um, would have would have gone to the beach every day, all we would need to say here is would go. Okay, because that's something that uh, it was a repeated action. Okay, does that make sense, Samir? Okay, but uh, go it is uh, okay best best verb. Huh? Would plus best verb. Yeah, it's would or used to plus the base verb. Okay. Okay, so that okay. Yeah, that's a, a repeated action. Okay, all right. Try try number ten. Uh, everyone on the team is smiling and laughing. Uh, they they use to lose the game. All right, if they're smiling and laughing, okay, yeah. and they they probably would not have uh, lost. Okay, oh, because yes. when you lose a game. That, that yes. means you're sad, okay? So um, yes. so we know C and D aren't the answers. So which one between A and B is the correct answer? They, they must uh, they must won. They must have won the there game. There you go. Nice. They must have won the game. Yes. Excellent. Nice job. Okay, let's yeah. go to um, exercise three. And uh, numbers one and two are for Maria. Uh, yes, uh, Paula used to work for that furniture store, but she doesn't anymore. Good, used to. Okay. What does it mean, usta? Usta. Um, that's exactly how we actually pronounce the word. Okay, and uh, <laughs> so instead of saying used to, uh, ah. we actually say usta. Okay, I thought it was like a word. I've never heard no, of it. They, they, put it, they put it in there, and you can actually choose that one. Um, it's too, it's too because that, that's, how, that's how we would really say it. Paula used yeah. to work. Okay, Paula used to work for a furniture, furniture store, but she doesn't anymore. Okay, okay, so that's how we actually say it. And they put it in there. I don't know if they were uh, being joking about it, because grammatically, that's not how you spell it, but that's how mm -hmm. we say it. Okay. okay. Uh, I can't believe you didn't get home until 6 a.m. Mom was so worried. You should have called. You should yes. have called her. Should huh. have called. Yeah, and you can say, you can add that pronoun in there saying you should have called her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, and, and just because we were, we were talking about Eusta, okay, mm -hmm. uh, instead of saying uh, you should have, we you should have. Should have. Should have. Should have. Should have. Should have. You should have called her. <laughs> yeah. Should have. Should have. Reduction. Or redu yeah. We 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 completely destroy have in that in that uh, <laughs> sense. Yeah. You you should have called her, and, and okay. that's exactly how we say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So numbers three and four are for uh, Juan. Go for it, man. Uh, isn't that Gloria's jacket? Yes, it is. She must have left left it here when she ran off the class. Good. Yes. So must have because we have a little bit more evidence, right? It's more of a certainty. Okay. Yes. Good. All right. And number four, please. When we visited my aunt's house when I was a kid, she. She used baked chocolate chip cookies for us. Okay, so if we have used there, what's the other word that we need? Two. <laughs> Two. Okay. So number C wouldn't, or sorry, letter C wouldn't wouldn't be correct because we're missing two. All right. So what's going to be our next best option? B. She would have baked chocolate chip cookies for us. All right, now you're on the right track with used to bake, but we're, we're missing the word to. Now, what word is interchangeable with used to? Used uh, Would. Would, okay. And, yeah. uh, and we yeah. see would have, but we wouldn't need to use the past participle here. So our answer would actually be A, yeah. right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me have you read that sentence and, uh, and add in uh, A there in the, uh, in the blank spot. Okay. Okay. Um, 
when we visited my aunt's house when I was a kid, she would bake chocolate chip cookies for us. Awesome. She would bake. Great job. Okay, let's take a look at numbers five and six. And this is for Igor. I can't believe you called Hi Yun about the party. Didn't you know that it was a surprise? You. I uh, can't believe. Uh -huh. You shouldn't. You should not. Uh, you should. You should not. Uh, uh, you should not have call her. Good. All right. Now, but uh, pronounce that contraction for me. So instead of saying should not, say shouldn't. You shouldn't have called her. You shouldn't uh, have called her. Good. Nice job. Okay. Um, and yeah, and I saw I saw the wheels turn in there. You're like, all right. I see uh, you were looking at B, and then you're looking back to C. You're looking at B, and I saw your mind work, and you're like, well, what's the difference here? Which one is right, and which one isn't? So yeah, uh, good job. It was it was C. C is the correct one. Uh, so let's go to number six, please, Igor. Um, who left uh, that book on the desk? I don't know. It. Um It might uh, have been Pavel. Good. It might have been Pavel. Okay. Nice job. All right. And let's see. Numbers seven and eight go to. Uh, let's see. Gabriel, go for it. Yes. When I was fifteen, I could run ten miles without stopping. Now I can't even run one mile. Excellent. All right. Eight. Okay. Eight. Uh, I. I got a ticket for driving 96 in a 55 zone. You shouldn't have driven so fast. Okay, and instead of driving, the word would be driven. Oh, driven. Okay. Okay, good. So yes. So you shouldn't have driven so fast. Excellent. Nice job. So and that would be C. You shouldn't have driven so fast. Nice job, Gabriel. Uh, let's go to numbers 9 Thank and you. 10. And this is for Facundo. Okay. I heard that Elsa got an A in history, but she... couldn't have gotten an A. Nice. She failed three different tests. Nice, yes. Yeah, so she, uh, but she couldn't have gotten an A. Nice job. Okay, number 10, please. I couldn't stay up late last night because I had to wake up at 5 this morning. Good. Had to wake up. Good job. Okay, class, let's scroll down to uh, page number 7. And we're on uh, exercise 4. All right, numbers 1 and 2 for Dina. Yes. Marta, you want to uh, go? Marta should be here one hour ago. I don't know why she's late. Okay, now we use should uh, for advisability. Okay, now let's say that you're 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 talking to me, and I and I say, Dina, hey, do you know where Marta's at? Okay, so we wouldn't use advisability here because you're not uh, you're not advising me to do something. Yes. Okay, so but, uh huh. Go for it. So which one which one should, would we choose then? Supposed to be. Supposed to be good. Okay, so that would be yes. D. Yes. Supposed okay. to be. Okay. Good. Yes, and so uh, class B is actually how we say that. We say supposed to supposed to be. Marta was supposed to be here an hour ago. All right. D is the correct way to write it. All right. Okay, let's go to number two, Dina. Okay, is the lecture this morning, but I guess they canceled it. Was supposed to be. Was supposed to yes, be. Yes. What? Yep. 
exactly. The lecture was the supposed answer? to be this morning. Yes. It's the same one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They tried. They tried to be tricky and and make you uh, uh, think about that and go, wait a minute, but I just answered that. But yes, it is. Yeah. It is the same one. <laughs> good job, though. Okay. Very good job, Dina. Nice. All Thank right, you. let's Thank let's you. go to numbers three and four. And uh, Alessandro, go for it, man. Okay. Um, <clears throat> was that elderly woman Hank's grandmother? It. Uh, it couldn't have been. Hank's grandmother died last month. Excellent. Yes, it couldn't have been. All right, um, number four. Was the couch comfortable last night? It was all right, but I would rather have slept on the bed. Excellent. Now, <clears throat> class, um, a I don't think uh, some of you, one of one or two of you, may have been in the last class uh, or one of my last classes. We were talking uh, talking about uh, the order here. Now, pay attention to that order. The proper way to say that is "would rather have slept." Now, you will hear um, many people say "would have rather slept." Okay, um, you will hear that. It's just like when uh, when I was talking about good and well. Yes, I'm doing well today instead of I'm doing good. Okay, uh, we say I'm doing well. That's the that's the best way to say that. That's grammatically correct. All right. Now here in this in this example and C, uh, the proper way to say that and and write it would be would rather have slept. Okay, but don't be alarmed if you hear someone say would have rather slept. Okay, so you'll 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 hear that both ways. I just want to make sure that you know the the uh, the correct way to say that. All right, so you're not confused about that. Okay, uh, numbers five and six go to Java. When I worked in the Cuban restaurant, I good eat a sandwich a sandwich. Cubano every day. Excellent. Yes, I would eat. Nice. Okay, number six, please. What is the rest of the pizza? I don't know. Carlos could have eaten. Yes, Carlos could have eaten it. Nice. Okay. And let's see, numbers seven and eight go to. Samir? Christopher, Christopher's ex wife used to always say, I would have married you. All right, so ex wife. Ex wife. Okay, mm -hmm. so ex wife, she probably hates Christopher's guts. I shouldn't never I should never have married. Yes, I exactly. I should never have married you. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, and uh, number eight, please. Too, too bad that Maria quit the company. If she had stayed, uh, uh, wouldn't have be being a manager now. Okay. So here, what they're saying is, um, if she didn't quit, all right, um, she, she, uh, and you had said she wouldn't be manager. Now that would that would be uh, uh, almost like having two negatives there. So quitting and um, so that wouldn't equal. Now what they what they want to say is that if she was still here, okay. Then what she she may have this position. So what would what what almost says may have? She might have been a manager now. Good. Yes. Yeah. So um, let me have you read that that sentence one more time and uh, use uh, option D there to finish the sentence, please. Too bad that Maria quit the company. If she had stayed, she may have been a manager now. Good. She might have been a ma a manager uh, now. Good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to numbers nine and ten, and this is for Maria. 
Okay. When I lived in China, I would drink j jasmine tea every day. Okay, I would drink. Nice. Okay. Is it right? Correct? Yep, that's that's okay. correct. Very good. Uh, Cage's husband uh, was uh, was not supposed to get back from London until Friday, but he arrived this morning. Excellent. Okay, yes. So was not supposed to. Good job. All right. So do you Let's say go. wasn't wasn't supposed to? Perhaps wasn't wasn't supposed uh -huh. to. Yeah, yeah. So um, if we were talking about how we would actually say that, wasn't supposed to. Mm -hmm. Katie's husband wasn't supposed to get back until. So see how it's, it uh, becomes easier for us to say that. Wasn't supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how we would change that. Okay. And it sounds like Katie was having an affair. Right? She's making this statement, right? So she wasn't expecting her husband back. But all of a sudden he's back. Uh-oh. Mm, right, perhaps she was going to prepare dinner for him. <laughs> that's that's the way to think more positive about that, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's let, let's go to uh, let's see, Juan. Let me have you uh, read numbers uh, numbers uh, one and two on exercise five, please. We've got about three minutes left, class. Victoria couldn't go. To the movies last night because she have to watch her little sister. Okay. Had to. Now, there you go. Had to. Yes, that's uh, to. conjugating that correctly. Had to. Excellent. Okay, number two, please. Um, I dropped from Washington to New York in two hours. You. You, you couldn't have it. It is more than two hundred miles. Excellent. You couldn't have. It's more than two hundred miles. Awesome. All right. Let's go to um, uh, numbers three and four. And this is four. Uh, Igor. I'm so hungry now. I. Um, I. Uh, I should eat breakfast before we left. All right, and you're giving advice to yourself. So how do we give advice? Should would be correct, but we would need to use the past participle there. Uh, I w would? No, should is correct. Ah, should is correct. I should have eaten breakfast before we left. Good, good. Yes, yeah, so I'm so hungry now. I should have eaten breakfast before we left. All right, mm -hmm. all right. And number four, please. Bob uh, has a tremendous uh, stomach uh, stomach ache now. He uh, he shouldn't sh he shouldn't have eaten four hamburgers and two hot dogs. Wow. Okay, yes, that's right. He shouldn't have eaten four hot dogs and two hamburgers. I don't even know how anybody can fit that much food in their stomach. Jeez. Okay, uh, numbers uh, numbers five and six go to, uh, let's see, where are we at? Uh, Gabriel. Yes, okay. When I took a 7 p.m. class, I used to get home at 11 p.m. Great. Nice job. Okay. Too bad that Mary chose to work for that terrible company. Her grades were so high that she could have found a job anywhere. Excellent. Yes, she could have found a job anywhere. Good job. All right, let's uh, let's do seven and eight, and let's see Facundo. Okay. Gino was late for the party because he left his house at six. He. Giving advice. He should have left. He shouldn't have left. No, he should have. Okay, he should have left a lot earlier than that. Good, yes. If, because he was late, we're saying, oh man, you should have done this. Okay, good. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, eight, please. Okay. 
Real Madrid lost the game to Barcelona. With all their great players, Real Madrid um, should have won. Exactly, should have won. On why why not? Uh, cool have ah oh, cool then. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay, uh, let's finish this page off. Uh, numbers 9 and 10, please. Dina. Okay. Mozart was such a, a protege. That'd be protege. Protege, that he, be protege. protege. That he, the piano, he was two years old. That he had to play the piano. Um, I'm sorry, now, could play, could there play. There you go, good, yes, so he could play, okay? And how about number yes. 10, please? Okay, Gisely. Would rather have taken? Uh, let's see, Giselle would rather have taken math than uh, psychology last semester, but all the, uh, yep, there you go, would rather the have taken, uh, so D, would wa rather have taken, yes, excellent, and uh, let's do, let's do uh, uh, one more for Alessandro so we can finish this off, uh, Alessandro, go to exercise six and do numbers one and two for me, please. Yeah, sure, it's a, uh, Vicky couldn't go out last night because she, had to finish her history essay. Excellent. Had to. Good. And I can. I ran two miles in six minutes. You. Blank. It's impossible to run that fast. You couldn't have. It is impossible to run that fast. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, you guys. Um, keep this. Uh, keep this link. All right. Uh, go back and, and take a look at uh, at those rules so that you can understand how to use them. There's, um, I think, maybe five or six more exercises that you can go through on your own time. Um, all the answers are are down at the very very bottom. Okay, so you can check yourself. Make sure that you're you're answering those correctly. All right. Um, you all did a, a great job. I know I'm over by a little bit. If you need to go to the to the next class, uh, that's fine. It was great seeing uh, a lot of new faces as well as uh, some familiar ones. All right. Uh, make sure to follow me. Um, I'd love to see you guys again in my classes. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Have a nice day. You as well. Bye. Bye.